this is a spoiler if you haven't seen the first episode, but I play a teacher named Kate. This just in, there's a big secret amongst the ruling class at Constance Biller. What was your reaction when you discovered that the audience would find out who Gossip Girl is right away? I thought that was so smart. I was like, you can't, there's no point in doing it again and having it be the same thing. They already did that. And I thought it would be fun to watch these characters try to keep up this charade. <laughs> did you miss me? I know I've missed you. When did you find out that your character Kate was actually the ringleader of the Constance Billard gossip group, as I'm calling it? Well, Josh, our showrunner, we had dinner before any of this started for him to tell me about the part, and he told me then, and I was immediately sold. I wanted to focus on the teachers, and I wanted to see what would happen if the teachers sort of tried to regain control of these sort of like kids that were out of control, and knowing that they were Gossip Girl from the top, and watching it destroy them. Gossip Girl, an anonymous Instagram account that spies on our students. When you found out that the audience was going to discover who Gossip Girl is in the pilot episode, what was your immediate reaction? <gasps> Just a gasp. Just a full gasp. Um, in the original, you didn't find out until so late. Um, and in this one, you find out right at the start. But um, it's such a great, fun parallel that you have happening with the teachers who are operating the account. Uh, it's the first time I've said that. I'm so excited. Um, and, and the kids. Um, so I think it's a really great. And the writing is just so juicy and fun. Um, and so I think it's a really great little parallel track we get to be on. I thought it was brilliant. Yeah, I don't think it works any other way, truthfully. Um, because because of the setup you have in the, the original, to repeat that exact format, I think would ultimately be disappointing. Um, and so this way the audience is in on it and then you get to pick which side you're on. I was shocked that, that Gossip Girl was revealed from early on, but it kind of is incredible. I didn't know anything when I signed on to do this job. I, I knew my character's name and that's it. So I had no idea until I was reading the script and even then I was like, I still don't know all the details. So as we were filming, I was finding things out and I was like, <gasps> all the way through. So it was exciting. If I wasn't born into this world, maybe I could write myself into it. There was a very strong reaction when it was revealed that Dan Humphrey was Gossip Girl in the original series. Did that add any pressure to you when you stepped into this role? Well, it's such a different thing to, you know, say who it is from the beginning and then let that be part of the story that I was not worried about. Obviously, you know, people love the original and we are paying homage, but they are, I think it's good that they are two different things, sort of, but in the same world. In the first series, not only did we not know who Gossip Girl was, we didn't know how Dan was doing it. What are the benefits of the way that you guys have structured it with this new show? It's just a different approach to the storytelling. You know, it was a it was a mystery in the first season, at uh, the first show, and uh, and this show is just a different approach. And so the audience can focus on other things, I guess, and see the see the toll yeah. that being Gossip Girl can take on people. It allows for actual convert. Like Dan alone would have been boring to watch him for 121 episodes just sit there typing. They actually get to talk and they get to debate whether this is a good idea or a bad idea. Some tips they get in future episodes, they really have to, some of them disagree and there's like battles over it. So I think that adds like a whole new layer. I love the fact that aesthetically, you do remind me of Kristen Bell just a little bit. Oh, all right, not bad. I'll take it. Thank you. Who is, of course, the voice of Gossip Girl. When you found out that Kristen was still going to be voicing you, what was your reaction? I mean, thank God. It, iconic voiceover. Can you imagine if suddenly it was just like, hey, Upper East Side, like any other voice would be like, ah. XOXO.